Hey everyone. For someone that was trying to be super organized and um, prepare for Vlogtober about two months ago, it is the 13th and I have officially run out of videos <laughs> that are edited and ready to go. So the last couple of days I have spent the wee hours of the morning editing and getting videos up. It doesn't really bother me because I'm generally a night owl anyway, but I just would like to have a couple of emergency, completely edited videos ready to go. So if I don't feel well, I can just put them up. The problem is, if I have emergency edited videos, I tend to use those and then I don't edit it and then I end up in this place again. So for the first week I had like seven days worth of videos totally set up ready to go and those were supposed to be my emergency videos but I just used them all in the first week. <sighs> I'm hoping, I'm really enjoying Vlogmas so I'm, I'm, <sighs> Vlogmas. I'm really enjoying Vlogtober so I'm hoping that if I can do this without going completely batshit crazy, excuse my French, um, I will do Vlogmas as well, and this will give me a really good idea of how much I need to prepare. So, it is Friday, and we launched Sanctuary today, which was wonderful. I've got um, a vlog lined up. I've been vlogging the sort of process of getting that all set up and everything. So, I've got one video exporting right now. I could go ahead and edit another one, but I'm quite tired. I didn't sleep very well last night, so I'm going to work on this little present. This is a, what is it? Ad Adoration Syncopation Hat by Westnitz. It's bloody beautiful. It's brioche that's staggered a little bit. I am using just leftover yarns, whatever I have lying about in my stash. I'm trying to do a sort of double knit, but sometimes it's ending up a bit thinner, sometimes it's ending up a bit thicker. And this is for a very special friend of mine. I don't know if I've spoken about this before, probably not, but uh, Mum and I have decided to book a whirlwind trip to Dublin. Now, the whole reason why we're going there is because a friend of mine that I've known online I want to say nearly 10 years, but it's probably not quite that long. We have been playing, basically we've been writing fan fiction for each other for 10 years. Um, there's a type of role playing that you can do online. Uh, we used to play on Tumblr um, and you basically take the role of a character and we always play Marauders Era. Sorry Maggie if this is like sharing too much information, but we play in the Marauders era, so that's Harry Potter's, like, with the Wizarding World, but when Harry's parents were at Hogwarts. And if there's a group of, like, I think eight or so of us that get together, um, and we used to do it all the time. We don't do it that much anymore, because we're all, like, grown-ups with real lives, and some of them have kids, and it's weird. But we get online together, and um, you take the role of one character, and you write, like, a paragraph or something, and you send that off, and then the person can reply to that post with a paragraph responding in another character. And Maggie and I have been playing characters opposite of each other for a long time. We played some really cute little Hufflepuff girls that were like best friends and adorable. We've played some Gryffindors. She played an amazing Kingsley. And I played Caradoc Dearborn that I played super annoying and cheeky and hilarious. So we played some Gryffindors. I'm not sure that we've done a lot of Ravenclaw interactions to be honest, but we both have had Ravenclaw characters in the past. And then both of our OTP, which is like one true pairing, like our favorite ever. And um, this is kind of twisted, but stick with me here. Um, we play Amicus and Electo Caro, which are the like evil Caro people that take over Hogwarts during Harry's seventh year. But we play them when they were at school as if they were at school around the same time as Harry's parents. I know it's kind of stretching it a little bit, but the Caros are so fun to play. So I play Electo and I play her very much uh, twisted, very twisted, very full of herself. She thinks she's like the best, she's like the hottest shit ever, um, but she's really super blinded by her pure blood past and stuff like that. So we play them as twins and there is 
sometimes we play them as twins, sometimes we play them um, a couple years apart, or a year apart, but um, the dynamic between me and Maggie when we roleplay is always wonderful. Um, so I've never met her in person. Sorry, I like blabbered on so much about this like nerdy part of my life. Um, it's basically just a fun way to stretch your imagination skills and to build up this world that we love so much. Anyway, so I've never met Maggie before and we're gonna meet her, I'm gonna meet her in person in Dublin and she's been planning this trip for like a year and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to make it health-wise or money-wise and I'm feeling okay health-wise. I still feel, I still have my really crappy days and every morning is a struggle but overall I feel like I could do it if I have like my main sidekick with me, mom, if I have mom with me. So. I decided to say hell with it I'm gonna spend the money I don't have the money but I'm gonna find it somewhere and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna treat myself to three days in Ireland so this hat is for Maggie and I'm hoping to get it done by Tuesday which is when we leave so um, I don't think I want to make it as long as the adoration syncopation but anyway so I'm sort of it's sort of inspired by Ireland like the greens but it's also kind of inspired by our Slytherin babies so <sighs> so much chatting, so much, I might edit half that out because I went on a little ramble about fan fiction. <laughs> but, so I'm going to knit a little bit on this, wait for my video to export, I'm probably going to watch some of the Vlogtober knitters that I am loving. Um, there are about five of us that are doing Vlogtober that I watch every just every single day, um, or I have to catch up if I miss a couple days, and I love it. That's what I'm going to do. I hope you are having a fabulous day or evening wherever you are. If you are sitting, knitting, watching this podcast, so it's, uh, it's good to see you there. What you're working on? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you're working on, um, and I will see you later. <laughs> Bye. Nothing.